Hi everyone. Bonjour, Rachel from Déjà Vu Thrifting here. Um, I uh, got notification last night of a uh, estate sale this morning. Uh, so I woke up a little late. I'm about 90 minutes behind everyone else. So we'll see how that goes. But what I like is that it's in a um, older uh, residential area. It's in Rockcliffe Park. That's where most of the embassies uh, from the national capitals are. And uh, this particular house is about two or three streets over from the uh, Governor General of Canada's residence. So older residents, older residents owners, older things to find. So hopefully I will be able to find a few treasures and I will share them with you. So follow me along. I have my new body cam. So I am apologizing in advance if the angles might be a little wacko sometimes, but I'm still learning and it was a beautiful gift from my family. I'm very thankful for it. It's going to help me a lot, especially this summer in garage sales. I can't wait. So anyway, um, let's go in, see what we can find. Allons-y. Not too many people. It started about 90 minutes ago because Rachel woke up late. <laughs> so, we'll see what we can find in there. There's a few Christmas items, but not much. Missing a bell. That's a nice big one. Plastic. Definitely vintage. I like this one. I like those. But they're so big, they would be such a challenge to ship. What to do, what to do. Sold something.
okay? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> Blaine is tall. Blaine is tall. <laughs> I can't, I'm vertically uh, challenged. Those two, uh, those glasses there with the swirl. Yeah, there's three, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, I'll take those. Wish there was four. Yes, yes, go, go take your pills. I'm going to bring that home and not share it with anybody. Oh, I'm going to do next. It's made like a lot of lemon wine. Not to break anything. Mm. That's cute baskets. <laughs> You're tall, right? Taller. <laughs> uh, you're taller. The angel and then that thing at the end there. If you can get that down for me. Great. Thank you. And that, yes. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. Oh, I said you were right. I'm not a huge fan of those things. There was one lady that did that. I think it was yourself. She wants them for herself. There's a tiny chip here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no chips there. That's good. I like this teapot. No marking. I'll take that. Well, empty has to shock more, you know. And two little cups. Cute.
I'm doing it. Happy New Year to you. What are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, yeah. So far, so good. It's been yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Interesting, but the, yeah, it's above my bed, my budget.
Mexican pottery. It's nicely done. Mm. Ooh, this fellow's old. Ooh la la. Yeah. Still sealed. Oh, panoramic. That's interesting. That would be good. No, there's nothing. <laughs> Fiddler on the roof. Fiddler on the roof. Dr. Zhivago. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see if I can find anything else. That's a vintage dress. Wow, that's sweet. Definitely, it's all cotton. Might even be handmade. Oh, 
That little pile on the right is mine there. That little pile there is on my, is mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it does that every few minutes. <laughs> I'm adding to my pile. <laughs> All this. Oops. Ten dollars. This thing is an old movie machine? No, that can't be an old machine. Yeah, yes it is. Huh. Photo album for small photos back in the days. The black and white photos were smaller than four by six. Mine's a little bit loose. Such a pretty good condition. I'll take that. Welcome to the haul everyone. So this is what I managed to purchase at the estate sale in Rockcliffe Park. And uh, there's a couple of things here that I'm quite happy and excited about. This very first one actually. Um, it is a teapot. It looks very simple. It's a teapot of an elephant. It's in very good condition. It's ceramic and it has the two little drinking cups from it. Now, I looked online and I will try to put some comps uh, on the screen. I only uh, found, uh, first of all, it's made by uh, BIA Cordon Bleu um, Pottery. There's some on Amazon, there's some uh, for sale on eBay and on Etsy. I was only able to find uh, white ones, gray ones and gold ones. I could not find in, search, in a search in, um, on Google, I could not find any blue ones. And all of them only had the teapot. Now I have the blue one and I have the two cups with it. Does that mean it is quite rare? Hopefully, but um, we'll see. <laughs> Um, then there was this cute chicken pottery. This is actually a piece from um, Tonala Pottery in uh, Mexico. Tonala is a village in Mexico and they are known to do these beautiful bird pottery uh, pieces. This one is a chicken and see the nice dark um, painting uh, like tone on tone almost and uh, I thought that would be something very nice and different uh, for people that do collect chicken chicken pieces. Um, then there was this cute trio of lusterware uh, elephants all with the trunk up for good luck obviously <laughs> and um, I'm pretty happy with those they're cute. Then we have the red, red turkey uh, skinny tapered 
uh, candle holders. So that would be a nice addition on the uh, Thanksgiving table. Next we have the Saint Basil or Saint Basil, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, a cathedral and that is in uh, Moscow and this piece is a very heavy uh, crystal piece that is mostly used as um, paperweight but there are a lot of people collecting these. Now truth be told right there and right there there's little flea bites on those two uh, little uh, corners but everything else is in great condition. I'd say it measures about five inches high. We have, I'm gonna go back here, we have this cute little ring holder. It is black ceramic with a gold cat. There's no markings but a lot of people are looking uh, for these in different colors. I don't see the black and gold very often so that's a nice piece. And then also this uh, Bluebird England uh, confectionery. Uh, hang on a second, I'll look in the back. It says <laughs> Bluebird Confectionery and it's from, I can't say it, don't make me say it, Worcestershire, <laughs> Worcestershire in England. So it's rare that you see one that is very clean inside and that has no dents and this one has no dents. So a lot of tin collectors are looking for this one, that's for sure. We also have this cute little cherub uh, mini planter. It's very small and has no marking either. It is made of ceramic, but it is vintage. And uh, what surprises me that even the little foot with the, uh, with the toes are intact. This is just a little piece of um, extra glaze, I guess, at the tip of his foot. And we also have these two tiles that are mirrors in the center and they are from Spain. It says right here in the back, made in Spain, ready uh, to hang on the wall. The two of them, one square, one rectangle, they're not exactly the same uh, motif but uh, pretty close. We have here the uh, three shot glasses from Pier, from Pier 1 and uh, I wish there was a fourth one. I believe the fourth one is yellow. I want to say yellow. Um, but you know some people already have this set they might be looking for more. So there's your chance. We have here also some vintage there Libby like, uh, Libby's like um, glasses with the colored bottom and it, the, it's a little heavier at the bottom. So two blues, two greens and a pink and a yellow. We have the brocade um, photo album that I found as well. It's a nice rectangular one, definitely vintage. The pages have yellowed as well as the plastic inserts and as you can see each page opens up so you can put actually 12 pictures per page. Now the picture sizes for those um, they're smaller than what we are used to see when we were when we were all printing our photos which we don't do much of it anymore but they were for uh, four by six before. These I believe are probably four by three, something like that, yeah. And I remember seeing pictures in my mom's albums that um, the black and white often were smaller like that. So I say this, this is probably dating back from the 50s, very early 60s at the most. Also, we have uh, two VHS here that I found. Now you're gonna say why are you picking up VHS? Nobody watches them. Well you'd be surprised because I do sell VHS uh, pretty regularly on on uh, Poshmark and on uh, eBay. So some collectors who might enjoy those, these are MGM 
uh, Holmes video and we have Fiddler on the Roof and Dr. Zhivago. Next we have this uh, panoramic jigsaw puzzle of 500 pieces. It is from the Arches uh, National Park in Utah and it all done it is uh, measuring 12 by 36 and I do believe it's scarce I can uh, find many of them online and especially in a brand new sealed condition so that's a good find as well then there was there were linens linens lots of linens but um, most of them were unfortunately damaged ripped and badly stained. I mean some of them should have been gone for recycling and uh, not for sale. I was able to rescue a few pieces here that I liked. This nice um, little centerpiece here, cotton, uh, kind of a cream color and it has orange and green needle work, very nicely done, and two little um, lace uh, accents on both sides and all the way around. So this one is a good find. These three are crocheted uh, dollies. There's one that's more like a star shape almost in a uh, aqua color. This one here is off-white or cream color I should say with two tones of blue flowers all the way around. And this one as well is a big circle, crocheted with uh, some brown all the way around the edge. I'd say that this measures probably about 16 inches across. So that is all I could take that I was happy with, the condition, in that huge pile that was on the couch in the living room. And then uh, there were these three pieces. I mean, they were a dollar each, so whatever happens, happens. Some people like to use these for Photoshop, uh, Photoshop for photo shoots, uh, especially some uh, photographers that do baby um, pictures. So this one, I actually, this is from the 60s or 50s even, because I actually remember uh, my brother when he was little wearing something similar to that with the, um, the pressure um, buttons in the middle here. So this one is really cute. And when I got home, I did find, however, a couple of stains on the rear end. So uh, I will put some Clorox and see how it turns out. But if, it's, if it doesn't turn out well, it's a, it was a dollar, so it's, it's not a big, big loss. This one is as well, it's a very, very light pink and um, it's kind of a, it's almost like the, the fabric of a lining uh, that we have now in our coats and stuff. It's, it's not satin and I don't know what it is. I'm not a seamstress, I don't know anything about fabrics. <laughs> but um, cute little embroidery around the neckline, elastic arms and embroidery at the bottom as well. Definitely something from uh, I'd say the 60s. This one I could not find a tag. Uh, these are because these are probably they're 12 about 12 months. This one I'd say it's about the size 2. I could not find a tag. I am assuming it might be homemade uh, but then again you you look at that nice work around the edge here. Uh, no probably not. I think it was store-bought. But it's got two little pockets, very sweet here, and a belt at the waist. It's um, more of a royal blue color. Buttons in the back. It's in good condition. A little bit of fading as time go by for sure, but still very good uh, condition. So this is uh, basically what I got and um, there will hopefully going to be another estate sale. I love going to estate sales. So. so 
So I hope you enjoyed this estate sale video. I certainly did. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, hit the little notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And then uh, comment below if you wish. I love to read your comments and I try to reply to everyone. So until I see you next time, have a good week. À la prochaine tout le monde.